entire game unfolding in both the time for the rest of the team and later on she really went for that heavy core build not some Dagon laser stuff of course it opens up even more free farm for the, the gyrocopter but um, he wasn't really I don't know oh poor Xiaowe getting cut out behind the tier 1 tower there by a sentry ward it's gonna be first blood drawn by the queen Radiance bottom tower is under attack Queen of Pain is coming. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, he's not even gonna get it to cap. Take that double damage. With the double damage, it should be easy, Roshan. The question is, how much do they have to give up for this Roshan? Mid is definitely, uh, well, gonna approach the tower. And top, and top two, two, two. Yeah. yeah. That's the bigger issue. It's already down to less than 500 HP. This one's going to go down in trade. Okay, that's very interesting. I mean, so far, they only got a tier 2 tower for Roshan. It's not the worst trade of all in the mid. Well, the spiders work a tiny bit on the tower. It's it's not the biggest damage of all. And since they're rotating into the mid, they're even going to stop this one. So, I, st uh, I still think LTD is, is kind of fine with that trade because now they want to fight. And talking about fighting, Jesus Christ, Lion just got that kill on the Bounty Hunter, but of course he has to die in return for it. Um, not really worth it because he was striked up. So if you have a one can show Else come Sentry Ward being down and well, they're gonna rotate from mid into top. At least the Pugna's gonna go there. I'm pretty sure because he can get another Plast easily. So at least some de-warning is coming out, but look at this. Dragonite coming in in the mid. Of course, those creeps disengaged the back to protection. They're already working on that tier 3 tower as well. And they're just gonna go for the melee rex. And I think they're gonna make it because they need the charcoal to defend. There's no cliff whatsoever available. So C-Deck is gonna give their first rex away, even though they're super slow at the moment with the fire spirits. Yeah, it's laughable how slow the DK is going, but now popping the BKB, not gonna take any chances. They'll grab the barracks and they should be able to get out. Honestly, Gyro had no business being that far out in the mid lane with the vision crown broodmother is close enough to have going north and still having like long long duration of of his track going on where what the hell i don't know Wrong they're going to find the heroes on the back line the sonic wave over three is going to be pretty good but is it good enough to lose the line as the weapons are around by silo is going to kill off one the queen of pain also going to hit the deck with a raise they'll lose their brood mother and the gyrocopter is now standing alone there's a phoenix over on the sideline siler is going to fall a triple kill for siler and a double for aggressive but now that the phoenix is alone he's also going to die a two for five trade is c deck that was such an aggressive move. They knew that everybody been XE's game. He's farming well. He's still keeping up in net worth, but zero two and two. He hasn't really set up any kills or been involved in very many kills at all. Inside mid lane, Phoenix gonna be forced to Icarus dive away, but he doesn't get to the high ground. He's gonna have to TP, but sure can cancels that, and that's the death of Q. Although maybe they can turn around for Shallow. The Queen of Pain is going to join the fray, but now Phoenix gripped up. The Queen of Pain is also going to fall. And LGD find themselves a free two kills. That was very interesting, and that just happened, aka LGD will push, like... Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh, the level 3 pretty much, but... Radiance structures are fortified. Radiance middle tower has fallen. I'm gonna use the cliff here on the tier 3. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I can just, you know, immediately just go for it, but it's not gonna happen. Instead, they come from the other side. The bounty hunter still in a position where you can scout, but oh, beautiful exit coming out. They might actually be able to just get rid of him really fast, but there is. Glimmer Cape, everything's coming out, and the PK is just opening here on the Phoenix, and he doesn't even get his egg off while the Dracula is trying his best, but hell, he is called down on two people with a BKB, and therefore, Bane just easy ultimate on him. They try to still fight a bit, but a GG call already has been made by Aggressive. He knows he can't really carry this through. There goes the third one, the fourth one, only the Brood Mummy surviving, but to be honest, she should be the one dying, because her... Non-existing impact in this game was also part of like CDEX loss here.
Yeah, it wasn't a good game at all for C deck. It didn't seem like they found any momentum. As soon as the Pugna and DK started grouping up, they took tower after tower after tower. And I think the biggest difference is that the Shadow Fiend in lane was able to do.